So as we all know, the ankle is a common area of pain and discomfort for a lot of cheer athletes. It's probably the most common thing that I work on. And it can be the most stressful thing that we have problems with, especially at the end of the year when we start getting close to big competitions and also getting ready for tryouts. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a uh, stretch that I use with athletes in the clinic, cheer athletes, soccer players, basketball players, all athletes, to help them come back from ankle sprains as quickly as possible so they can get back into sport. So flexibility of the ankle and of the calf is extremely important when it comes to ankle health and also trying to prevent or recover from ankle sprains. Now the joint itself can be a point of restriction when we're trying to get an athlete back to sport. Usually when we sprain our ankle, there's gonna be some ligaments involved, usually some muscles that have been injured and that have become weak. And the joint itself of the ankle, which is a really unique shaped joint, can become stiff and locked up. And so we want to make sure that we're addressing all of those pieces to get somebody back to sport as quickly as possible. So the way that this joint is designed is the two bones in the lower leg, our shin bone, which is our tibia, and the fibula, this, the bone on the side, create an arch like this that our foot plugs into. When we have an ankle injury, the ability for that bone to rock back and forth between that arch becomes limited because we get a shifting of the bone in the foot that shifts forward and it creates a blockage at the front of the ankle. And so part of a rehab plan would be to help that bone to become shifted back out of the way so that we get some clearance with that range of motion. And today I wanna to show you a stretch that we utilize to help athletes get that positioning back so where it doesn't get pinched in the front of the ankle when they're trying to uh, get into like a toe flex position or foot flexed versus pointed. And also when they're landing tumbling that we have some range of motion here so we don't get pain in the front here. So what we would do is we're gonna start off with a band. Um, we've, I've anchored a couple of bands here um, that can be used. Now you want this band to be pretty, pretty heavy resistance because it has to be able to hold the front of the foot back. So we want a pretty good resistance band. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna step our foot through the band just like this. And forgive me if my mic gets all muffly, but we're gonna step into the band and we're gonna put the band right on the front of our ankle. So right where the top of the tongue of the shoe is. And again, forgive me if my mic gets all scratchy. It's the beauty of live video. So we're gonna have that band right across the tongue of our shoe and we want to then position our foot as far forward as we can, creating a good amount of resistance here. Now what our goal is, is we want to pin the ankle back this way as we're trying to stretch forward. So what we would do is drive the knee over the toes and then rock back. Drive it back to the front and then backwards. Now what we want to avoid is lifting the heel off the ground because that's basically letting that tight Achilles and that locked up joint rock the angle forward and we, angle forward. And we don't want that, we want to increase the amount of translation that I can get forward. One thing that can help with that, as you're rocking forward, instead of just keeping the foot flat, you can actually think, lift my toes or lift my foot, that'll rock me back onto my heel and allow for more of a stretch in the back here. Now, one thing we can also do as we're working through this is actually go side to side and test different angles of the knee. So I'm not just working forward, because the ankle is a dynamic joint. We want it to be able to move in multiple directions, but I can push to the side, to the front, to the inside. And I'm really just trying to explore all of the angles of my ankle here. And when I find an area that feels stiff or restricted, instead of saying, oh, I'm stiff there, let me find an easier place, those are the areas we want to work into. So when I find somewhere I'm kind of like, Ugh, yeah, I'm kind of stiff there, I really want to work through that angle until I see improvement with that range of motion. Now, typically what I'll have athletes do is start off usually like 90 seconds on that up to two minutes. But honestly, I have used this exercise up to three minutes with athletes, especially if it's a chronic ankle that's very, very stiff. 
just getting into that band, really working through all those angles and spending a few extra minutes there will dramatically help with that rocking motion of the ankle and it's gonna help to get our athletes back on the floor uh, much faster than just working on strength and stretching. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I hope this ankle mobility video is helpful for you if you're coming back from ankle sprains. If you'd like more videos on ankle sprains, click the link above. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, click the link here and make sure you hit that bell for notifications so you know when we come out with new videos just for you. We'll see you next time.